What's happening, YouTube? Here we go, here we go, here we go. You already know what it is. Today is another one of those days that end in Y. So you know that makes it a great day to go fishing. It is dry still. And I'm out here on Lake Oconee as usual. Uh, I wasn't going to film today, but I caught a couple of good fish. I got four or five fish in the live well already. And I figured if the fish are going to be this active, I might as well be putting some content out there for you. So uh, see if I can catch a couple of these fish and go ahead and post this video because I appreciate you all for watching. So thank you so much for that. I do appreciate everybody who watches and leaves those comments and those like buttons. Share this channel if you haven't already done so. And again, you already know what it is with my subscribers. Long-term subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. New subscribers, welcome to the Drysdale family. And if you just happen to be scrolling through YouTube and you came across my channel, or if somebody recommended this channel to you, and you haven't already done so, go ahead, hit that button right there to subscribe to the channel, along with that bell right there, so that you get notified when I post new videos. Let's see how we do on this episode of Crappy Fishing with Drysdale. Let's go get them. Come out of the breast powder, come and get me. That was gonna make it about 10 inches. I'm gonna scale this one just so my calibration is so I get my calibration right. Let's scale it just to make sure she's 10 and a half. So taking something home today. Figure out if I got a bucket to put them in. She might be 10 inches. Just a tick over 10. Reaper shads. And it goes without saying. Crappy bait by CMI. Reaper shad. I think this is, I don't even know what color this is. But there's the bait. That is a good fish. Ooh. Come here, you big Shirley. Come on, Shirley. Come on, Shirley. Come on, Shirley. Hey, baby. That's a good fish. My live scope is acting up today, folks. So I'm having to do a mixture of old school, new school fishing. And this hell, big Shirley, baby. Big Shirley, baby. This fish is probably about a pound and a half. Pound and a half, pound and three quarters, but she's in 14 inches. Let's get some more of these. Come on, Cletus. Oh, good Lord. They popped me and then they got me hung. So you know what that means, folks? Since I got hung, and I knew I got popped, but I got hung and I did have the hook set, I still got a shimmy. I still got the shimmy. I don't think I'm gonna get that back. Nope, I'm not gonna get that back. Yeah, buddy. Where he at? Where he at? He's still on there. My line broke. Did my line break? My line show people. Interesting. I got a fish. God dog it. Shoot. Good sized fish too. Man. Broke off my dag online. What did I do? Mm, mm, mm. I'm sending her back. She a little bit sharp. She a little sharp. 
Get on out of here now. Get. All right, folks. There is a boat over here. I've seen, I've not seen this. I've not seen anybody in that boat yet. I hope it ain't empty. Because if it's empty, that means somebody done fell out. I'm going to roll over there and see what's going on. Hope I ain't got to call the police. There he is. He just got up. Thank you. He was laying down napping. Good. He got himself a good little nap. I sure ain't want to roll up on nobody dead in their boat. Hoping somebody didn't float, drop out and drown. But it is kind of nice to take a nap out here on the water. All right, folks. I got to retie a line. And I figured, I might as well tell y'all this story that I uh, had happened, what I had happened to me a little bit ago. I had posted something on a Facebook group, just some underwater footage and some live scope. And somebody jumped on that, on my post and was like, oh yeah, try using them without, you know, live scope. You know, typical live scope hater stuff. I don't mind people having different opinions, but um, I just don't understand the live scope hate. And oftentimes I try to have conversation with people who have differing opinions than mine, just so that I get an understanding of where they're coming from. And sometimes I find that those people are crazy. And that's okay too. This is America. You are allowed to be crazy. But the live scope hate. So I told the guy, I'll stop using it when you stop using your car to travel and travel like they did before the invention of automobiles. And I got to thinking about that. You know, we, every uh, new generation of technology makes us either more efficient or gives us some benefit. So why would Lasco be any different? They invented fishing reels. Somebody probably said, oh, that's cheating because now you don't have to work as hard to reel a fish in. They invented planes, trains, and automobiles so that we could transport better. Nobody complains, but, oh, you cheating because you're using a car to get from point A to point B. Oh, you cheating because you use a plane to go from Georgia to California. Live scope is no different, in my opinion. So for the live scope hate, you know what? Uh, if you don't want to buy a live scope, that's fine. And people go into it, well, they can't afford it. I don't care what their money is. You know, if you can, I believe anybody can afford it. If you got a job, you can afford it. The question is, what do you decide to spend your money on? That's a whole different conversation. But that's, that's the Drysdale Millionaire talking. Uh, that's a whole different, different side of Drysdale with the financial piece. But it just caught me. You know, like why in the world are you worried about somebody leveraging technology? Use an open fire to cook your food. They used to do that before they made stoves, much less microwaves. Gotta run it, boss. Gotta run it. No, dude, don't keep trying to get me my dad on the the motor. There we go. Got her. I got her. She gonna make 10. I got some big Shirley's in there, but you gonna make the cut too. You ain't a big Shirley, but she gonna make a fryer. She gonna make a curly, not a Shirley. Use your hands and a rock and a rag or something to wash dishes. They did that before they made sinks, running water and dishwashers. I told him I'm not caught one single fish on live scope. I've never caught a fish using a live scope. Yes, you have. You use live scope all the time. I know I use live scope all the time, but I haven't caught a single fish using live scope. I catch all my fish using baits. And most of the time, they're crafted baits by CMI. Oh, you're a smart ass. I'm just telling you, hey, I catch my fish on bait. I use live scope to find them and learn where my bait is in the target. 
I use Crafty Base by CMI to catch my fish. Another thing I told them was I was catching fish before LiveScope was even invented. You don't believe me? Check out my YouTube videos. I got video from long before you before LiveScope was invented. So, and today specifically, today my LiveScope was kind of going in and out. I got a short in my cord somewhere that I've got to figure out where it is. Uh, because it's short now, it's going off and it's coming on, and that's a little bit frustrating. So what I'm gonna end, going to end up doing is I'm just going to cut some of these wires and just redo them so that I don't have to deal with this the next few times I come out. So while I was three times, figured I'd share that story with you. Check out this fish I'm catching. Big on tree. Almost had me shimmying. Going out of here now. Get That's another good fish, folks. That's another good fish. So, it's with this one that I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. It is 10.30, and I told this guy I was gonna drop my boat off at about 11.30, so if I keep going, I'm gonna miss that. I got plenty of time. That's another big Shirley, though. So thanks for watching. Y'all already know the deal. Appreciate you. So much, so much, so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that button right there to subscribe along with that bell right there so that you get notified when I post new videos of me and whoever I'm fishing with, catching more of these. Until next time, folks, remember, the best days to go fishing are the ones that end in Y. Drysdale out. Hey, baby. <laughs>